Hey beautiful people, my name is Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for stopping back again. And if you're new to my channel, hey girl, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my version of fall makeup. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, all of the products that I use, stay tuned. But before you leave, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share with a friend, subscribe to the channel. Also turn on your post notification bell. That way you'll never miss an upload and I'll see you at the end of the video. Hey guys, what's going on? We're just going to be doing our face today. You know, just because I have a new palette that I would like to, you know, do a look with. So I decided to do my face. So let's just prime our face, Milani. This is the one I've been using lately. I'll get another one soon to try. But I like this one. Okay guys, so you want to prime your face to give your makeup something to stick to. Therefore, it could last longer. You know what I mean? All right, of course the brows are done. Um, I did buy another Makeup Revolution pencil brow blade. I'll be sure to li list it down for you guys. I get them at Walmart. I really love them because they're nice and skinny. And it makes my brow kind of perfect. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be using e.l.f. the soft glam and easy blur. So you know we're gonna combine them together. You know I'm always mixing something, right? I'm a mixologist. <laughs> a mixologist for makeup. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna put them together. I'm gonna one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and we'll try to see if that will be good enough. I'm gonna take this brush. And we're gonna buff that in. Hmm. Not bad. Um. That looks good, but I'll use a little bit more of the elf. You know guys this tube I need to get another one it's not done but I love it so much you guys need to try it out I got it for $8 on Amazon when I got it it's probably the same now I feel like my brush is breaking This brush came in an Amazon brush set that I've had for quite some time. And it's really, really good at blending out your foundation. Hmm. 
Make sure you get your foundation in front of your ear. The other day, I was um, editing my video and I realized that right in front, I think it was this ear that I didn't blend the foundation there. And it drove me crazy. I was like, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? <laughs> and I didn't do it. So when you're editing, you see all of your mistakes, you know? We're gonna contour using my favorites. LYS bronzer stick. I don't know why it gets so dirty. Let me clean it off. I think there's a piece on the inside, so when you when you push it in the cover, it gets all over it. But alright, let's Contour. On. Put some down the sides. Alrighty. Some here and some here. Trying to put my things away as I use them. Keep my little table organized. Alright. Too Faced Butterscotch. And I need to get another one of this one too. I feel like I use my use my makeup up quickly because since I do go to work on well four days out of the week I go to the office and I do my makeup so I feel like you know I use my makeup and sometimes I sometimes I might use the same one more than I do the others so you know I have a cousin my cousin in England if you're watching hey auntie Maggi so she asked me <laughs> in one of my videos if I wear makeup every day um, I don't know if she said to work or just in general I mean, if I'm not going anywhere, you know, I'm not going to do my face. But if I'm running to like Publix or something, I might just do my brows just to make myself look a little bit presentable. But um, if I'm going out. You better believe it. I mean, no one needs makeup. You don't have to wear it. But I choose to wear it because I like it. You know, so I do wear it to work every day, every single day. I choose to wake up early in the morning, earlier than I need to, so I can get myself together. And that's just Michelle. Some people rather sleep, but <laughs> hey, if it's something that you like, then you'll do it. You know what I mean? So, I do wear makeup to work every day. I mean, some days might be lighter than others, but you know, for the most part, if I don't do, a, if I don't do like eyeshadows, I'll just, you know, brush some bronze over my lid or a nice chocolate color and call it a day. That's what I do on most days, but some days I might put a little bit of color, a little bronze, a little gold, stuff like that. And when I do do my videos in the mornings, then I'll, I'll wear my face to work. All right. Just in case you're wondering, but I think you guys should know by now, right? What I like and what I don't like. What I do like. What I do love is makeup. It gives me joy whether I do someone else's makeup, whether I do mine. You know, I love it. So I watch another influencer. And 
like she was like oh i got this nice palette from sephora so of course i went and got it and it was on sale i'll show it to you guys in a minute so it's probably not new to sephora it's not new to sephora but it's new to me you know what i mean I feel like my light was a little bit bright now you're gonna blend out the nose these brows are browing today all right I notice I say all right a lot it's a Jamaican thing guys or I say okay well, most of the time I said, all right, like I'm done doing this. I'm done doing that. Hope it's not annoying. That's just the way I talk. I'm just going with my foundation brush around the edges to make it nice and smooth, seamless, clean. Okay. See? Okay. All right. All right, we're going to take... Mr. Patrick, one size. And if you guys see what I have in this thing, I took off the cover. We're like almost done. I use my stuff, okay? So let's look up to make sure that we have no creasing and then go in with the puff. on the eyes are nice and seamless you know you want to take off the excess on the back like that so you don't want your under eyes to look cakey so you can just put it you can put a, just a little bit at a time you don't have to put it all at once because then your under eyes will look cakey and we don't want cakey under eyes we want to set the sides of the nose smile lines Some in the middle of the forehead. And I'm going to use this. Let me use the sponge to blend out the concealer over my lids. Take out the crease in and then set it with the sponge. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Now this time we're gonna use it to just to bake under the eyes, not because we need it, but this would be a good barrier between the eyeshadow and your face, okay? So therefore you don't have to worry about messing up all the work that you just put in to make sure your under eye look flawless, okay? Getting the sides of the nostrils. I'm gonna put some here. All right, I'm gonna take a brush and forgot I'm wearing black. And just set my lids. The palette I'm using is this one from Sephora. It's called Sephora Precious 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 <laughs> Precious Gemstone. Why couldn't I say that word? These are the colors, nice and folly. So we haven't really planned what we're doing, right? So what I'll do is I'll take this lighter burgundy color here and um, we'll put that in the transition area 
Alrighty. Good one. It's very pretty. You know, the, let me zoom you guys so you can see the eyes. Okay, you know these colors are fall. Burgundy reds and stuff like that. Fall colors. So, I figure. I don't know. I feel like under my brow bone wasn't blended up properly. Okay. Very pigmented. Oh, this palette was the original price was 16 and I got it for half off. So eight dollars. Okay. Okay, that looks good. All right, what I'm going to do is take the same brush and just brush it off on the back of the paper towel. And there's a nude color here. This one. I'm just going to try to put that underneath the brow area here, right here. All right. All right, now we're going to finish up with the plummy color. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this brush. I feel like this brush is too fluffy, but we'll try. And I'm going to take the darker color, which is this one. It's more, more burgundy, like a darker color. And I'm gonna put that here. Okay, and I'm going to just stick to stick to this palette, whatever the looks the look turns out to be. Then that's the look. All right, they have another one that had like a green, like a forest green color, more in the green family, right? But I didn't get that one because I already have something with some green shades in there. Okay. That looks good and simple. All right, so I'm just gonna go back with the first one and just, you know, make sure this is clean. All right, so now I'm going to take this color here, which is like a shimmery color. Not a lot of shimmer. And put that on the Front part, the inner lid, let's see how it looks first. So, okay. like this palette is not very, it's not crazy, it's just you know, a couple dark colors. Okay, not bad. I mean, for eight dollars, she's showing up. Okay, guys, so it's looking okay. I'm gonna take my finger and see how it looks. You know, we always like that better. bad it's not bad not bad
Okay. It's all right, guys. It's not really giving what I wanted to give, but we'll make it work, right? I really wanted it to give more. But you know, it's okay for now. Let's go do the other eye. We'll come back and we'll see what we can do, okay? Guys, you know what? You know, sometimes you're doing your face and you're looking you're looking at it and because of the lights it didn't look like the colors were popping but after I turned off the camera and went to do the other eye I see that it was really it was really good the colors are good so maybe what I should do right now let me turn off my ring light and then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks hold on so well it might be too dark but this is how it looked without the ring light. Yeah, so I think it's showing. It's just that it shows different. So what I'm going to do now is just take that burgundy color. And I'm just going to put it under my waterline. Okay, and who knows? I might do something different with my lip then nude we'll see i think they are it's actually pretty black eyeliner Smoke to give it a nice smoke, smoky look. You can always go back with the um, the pencil brush and just like blend it out some more. I'm gonna use my Sephora powder. Set my face. I'm trying not to mess up my shirt if you guys must know and I'm not I'm not ashamed I'm filming this video I have nowhere to go so therefore when I'm done I am going to take my clothes off so I just have the shirt on for the video but I want to I want to wear this black shirt with some black pants tomorrow so when I'm done, I will go ahead and wear the same shirt to work tomorrow. Why not? I didn't go anywhere. I didn't sweat. Why are you standing in front of me? I can see you. <laughs> My son. You guys know Chase. He just came in front of me. I don't know why. Alright guys, I'm going to bronze up my face using this um, Fruits Cosmetics palette. Alrighty guys, so we're going to, you know, as these colors, I'm going to take this one and bronze up, bronze up, bronze up the face. Chase, come out of my room. And I'm gonna leave it in the video so they know that you're you're bothering me. 
of mine. All right, I'm going to um, bronze up my nose. Hurry up. We don't want this video to be too long, you know. Alright, I still don't know what color I want to put on my lip. But what I'm going to do is finish up, put on some lashes. I feel like I want to put some lashes on today. Alright, that's enough. Alrighty, I'm going to use Juvia's Place. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 1. And I'm going to take this. Hmm. I'm going to take this color. It's like a nice plummy color. I haven't used that in a long time. And that's going to be our blush today. So. Can you guys see that? Pretty, right? like a like almost like a bur burgundy color but it's like a reddish burgundy color and I don't use it that much but we need to make sure this blush is showing okay oh I think I got a little carried away on that side but we'll blend it out All right, we don't want to look like Tammy Faye Baker. Tammy Baker? No, she wasn't. She was she blush. She used to wear a lot of blush, but it was her it was her mascara and the lashes. Okay. I like that. Okay, that's cute. Alright, so now we're going to put on a little bit of highlight because you know I like to put on highlights. Rare Beauty. Just a little bit up here. I'm liking this look. Alright. I'm going to use too much blush, too much highlight. Right here. like it's too much you can go in with your powder brush and just like you know take it down a notch I'm gonna use my pencil brush I'm just gonna use what I'm using use the same one yeah see how easy that was yeah that's what we're looking for we're gonna take just a smidget smidgen just a little bit just. all right so hopefully hopefully i didn't mess up my video I'm just going to take the brush per usual and just clean up the sides of the highlight or the nose highlight okay all right so let's go put on some lashes and then we'll come back to finish off the video okay guys so lashes are on um let me just set my face. Okay, this is the Juvia's Place. Ready, set, mist. No, ready, set, sealed. All right, since you know we're giving fall vibes, or that's the vibes we're trying to give, um, 
I'm going to use this uh, Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in 55. It's called Royal. So it's kind of like a almost a reddish burgundy. Let's put it on and see what happens. Ooh. I'm not sure if it goes with the eyes, but hmm, maybe I wanted something a little darker. But we'll see. It's not what I really wanted. So I'm going to use this pencil here from Juvia's Place. It's like a plum color. And I'm going to darken the outer, outer parts with it. I probably should have used this all over my lip. Let's see if I can take this off. You know, it's not really set in stone what you have to do, but... You kind of have an idea what you want. I'm going to go in now with the pencil and I'm going to put that all over my lip and see mm, if it does what I want it to do. And I'm going to do something. I'm going to put on something that I really never wear, but I have a lipstick here from Juvia's Place, right? And it's kind of like a purplish pinkish color. We're going to put a little bit over this one. So this is a lipstick that I have from Juvia's Place. What is this called? It's called Frenemy. So it comes in this nice case, like pink and purple. And so we're going to try it. Since the eyes are given purple-ish, this is really dark, guys. Dark. For me, it's dark. Like a dark purple. Let's see. It's definitely a fall lip color. Uh. Mm. It's pretty. If you guys see, I don't really wear dark lipstick a lot. I don't like it. But, hey. If I'm going to go for it, I'm just going to go for it. Right? Looking kind of gothish. Tell me. I think dark lips make me look older. What do you guys think? What? Okay, guys. So I went ahead and fixed it. So this is what we're looking like. Um, it's very dark. <laughs> Not my, you know, usual cup of tea, but you know, it is what it is. So we'll make it work. So that's my finished look, my fall vibes look, <laughs> looking like Elvira a little bit, but, um, you know, I hope you guys like it. Let, let me know what you think. <laughs> I don't like dark lips. Let me know what you think. Leave me some comments on in the comment section and let me know what you think of the entire look. Okay. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but that dark lip was driving me crazy. So what I did was I have this pink lip here from Fenty. I went ahead. It's very bright. I just put one drop like right in the middle right there and just, I know I like it better. So there you have it. I just wanted to come back and show that to you guys before I close off the video. And that's my version of fall makeup.
okay and just like that we have come to the end of the video i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial i hope that i made it easy for you to follow i really love the eyeshadow palette i love how everything turned out you know in the end i love the two foundations together i think they're beautiful i love the blush i love everything so if you did enjoy guys remember to thumbs up the video also share with a friend subscribe to the channel and also turn on your post notification bell that way you'll never miss an upload if you decide to recreate this look you can tag me my instagram information is down right down here all right guys again subscribe to the channel turn on your post notification bell so that way you'll never miss an upload and i'll see you guys next time bye guys fall makeup my version okay bye